Hog and Son TV is brought to you by DBW Outdoors Stormcloth 2 Lambo Outdoors Across Verizon Muddy Outdoors Fire Knock Day 6 Outdoors are finally in. My good friend, the Eukinator, is going to show us how exactly it is that he catches so many of these fish. So follow along, pay attention, and he's going to show you just exactly how it's done. And not only that, we got Roscoe P here today, and he is the minnow bitch. <laughs> uh, we're going to show you how to rig your, your lines up so you can uh, catch these perch. You just need about a three-foot piece of line. And it can be 20 pound test, it can be six pound test, whatever you think you need. The water's really dirty right now, so you don't really need a big heavy piece of line. I mean, a small piece of line. Six pound test is way too light. But you need a one ounce sinker. Just take that, tie that on one end of your line. Whatever kind of knot you want to use is fine. Tie that on that end. Take you a swivel. Tie this on your other end. Swivel keeps the line from getting all tangled up. It's kind of like a drop shot. Swivel helps a lot. So there's what you have to begin with. Swivel, sinker. You're down to about two and a half feet now. You take your bottom hook, your bottom line, pull it up about 10 inches, make you a little loop, slip it through, wrap it around twice, pull it, and pull it tight like this. You got you a loop right there. Go a little further up your line, about a foot up from that one. Do the same thing again. Just double your line up, slip it through twice. Pull it tight the same way. So you got two loops. You just take your hook, run your line through this, try to figure out where it's about the same as the sinker, and tie it off. It can be longer, it can be shorter, it doesn't really matter. And believe it or not, sometimes it's better to use heavier line on your hook line because it stays straight. So if you wanted to use eight pound test for your drop line and 15 pound test for your hook line, that's fine. Bite that off so that's nice. That's past it a little bit, but you're dragging so the hook's gonna be out so it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Just wanna make sure this line doesn't get into this line. Just take that, tie that up, pull it up to where it's above that, as you can see. Tie that off. And that's it right there. Pretty simple. You got your two hooks. When you flip it up, everything's perfect. Simple enough. If it's a little windy, you can go to an ounce and a quarter weight or something like that. But uh, nothing bigger than a gold mustad hook, just a cheap hook. You can doesn't cost nothing to buy this stuff. You don't gotta have a fancy rig. And trust me, this works perfect. Catch two at a time a lot of times. Another word, little trick I'll show you. When you got your sinker and you got like your hook up here, 
The other hook's wedged in down here so your stuff's spread apart. Take your sinker, wrap it around your line. Take a piece of black duct tape, tape it to your rod. When you get done, you can even see where it's been on the rod. Tape it back down to the bottom of the rod. When you're done at the end of the day, tape it back up. Everything sets perfect, nothing gets in a mess. That's it. Excellent reflexes, Pico. That's Roscoe Pico train. Just to get that straight, all you viewers out there. What do you got there, Mark? Guppy. Monster? That's a little male. Big one, Russell. Yeah, it's 15 inch, and I go, I Big. Then, then when I caught one, I go, whoa. He goes, Mark goes, it's pretty big. I go, yeah, it's 15 inches. <laughs> hey, people on YouTube love that when you, when, he, when you guys were disputing the size. <laughs> nice. <gasps> it's two humongous ones. Wait till you see this. You see that, Trent? Turn around. Hands off. <laughs> nice ones. Yes. Not a big one. That's what she said. Is that what she tells you, Russell? No, I don't think she ever said that. She never said that. Well, Russell's very sufficient. Very sufficient. She's su he's sufficient. Sufficient. Just like this fish you just caught. Very sufficient. Man, oh man, Russell. Next to a 12 Russell, picture, it's not that, I mean, it's Russell, now that this one's not too big, let's practice with this one holding it up so we get it down pat. Right. Repetition is good. Man. You're just the camera in, Trent. Mark's the director. Mark, tell me how to do it. <laughs> Russell, like this. <laughs> but hold it in front of you so it looks real big. Oh, yeah, hold on now. Let me zoom in on it a little bit. You want to give me a nice smile? That's nice. Russell, you you. You might just be the star of Hog and Sons TV before too long. Right. You know I am. I mean, big Russell. Plus, you hit 
Give me a rod. Come on. Yeah. We got him. I got him. Hook him, Russ. Trent, take that. Just let go. Trent, take that. Hurry. Hook him. He's already gone. You didn't hook him, you fag. Bullshit. Got him. Come on. He's still on there. Lay that down. Come on. I'll give you a minute. You got him, Trent? Yeah. Want it, Russ? You bring him up. Is it an Asian? Oh my God, Russ, I swear to God, Russ. It is a car. This thing gets away, I'm going to kill you. It's a car. Look at that, Russell. Whew. Russell, thanks. Thanks for, thanks for coming in today, Russ. You betcha. Hold on here. That's really nice. You... Ooh, there you go, there's your toe. Both hooks gone too, Russell. You see that? We ain't been over here yet. You are snagging me. I knew you were. Oh, yeah, I was snagged with you. That's why you gotta put your ride back there. I keep telling you. Easy now. He don't listen. That's what happens. Thank you, sir. That's a pretty big one, Roscoe. He's on my hook. I don't care. I don't care what he does. How do you like that? I don't care who's hook is on. All right, Roscoe, what do we get today? Well, we limited out. All right. Let's see what you're working with. Nice one. Same ones, don't they? They're so, so, so similar in size. Pretty. That's one of the ones drinking. 